This is the Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park in Key West, Florida travel guide. Info in this video will include directions, fees, times, a bit of history and what to see and do and of course we'll share our own experiences and tips. Keep watching this video to get the full details to plan your visit for the Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park in Key West, Florida. Key West is the place to go, down by the Gulf of Mexico, beyond the sea, beyond the shifting sand. Key West is the gateway key to innocence and purity. Key West, Key West is the enchanted land. Key West is the place to be if you're looking for immortality. Key West is paradise divine. Key West is fine and fair. If you've lost your mind, you'll find it there. Key West is on the horizon line. Excerpt from Bob Dylan's song, Key West, Philosopher Pirate. Welcome to HitFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is HitFig's Key West Florida Keys Travel Guide Series. This episode is the Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park Travel Guide for visitors to Key West, Florida. Fort Zachary Taylor Historic National Park offers a historic fort, a great beach, fishing pier, and a hardwood forest which migrating birds, including endangered birds, during migration use as a rest stop. It's a very popular place for bird watchers in the spring and fall. Key West is the last major island in the Florida Keys and is the southernmost point in the contiguous USA, roughly about 90 miles north of Cuba. This is also where you'll find the Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park, which is also America's southernmost Civil War fortress, located at 601 Howard England Way, Key West, Florida. We drove from our hotel to the Fort Zachary Taylor State Park in the morning after arriving the night before in Key West. The State Park is located near the end of US Highway 1. We came from Duval Street and made a left on South Howard Street. There's a sign on Duval Street for the Fort Taylor State Park. Follow it to the roundabout and to the State Park entrance booth. Before the roundabout, in this area of South Hard Street, you'll find the Harry Truman Little White House, which you can tour. It's in a tree-lined residential area. After the roundabout, you'll also pass the Key West Eco Discovery Center on the right side, which is a free attraction. The Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park is open at 8 a.m. until sundown, 365 days a year, and the fort opens at 8 a.m. and closes at 5 p.m. daily. There's a Florida State fee of $6 per vehicle up to 8 people, $2.50 per pedestrian or bicyclist, and $4.50 for a single occupant vehicle or motorcycle. You can purchase when you get there at the ticket booth at the entrance or online at the Florida State Parks website. There are three major things to do while in this state park. Visit the fort, enjoy the beach and all its amenities, and go on nature hikes. There are also three parking lots in this state park. We parked in the first lot near the fort and visitor center and walked to the visitor center to gather information and schedules. Ranger-led activities are held throughout the year, including fort tours, nature walks, and other programs. Visitors can learn about the park's history through fort tours and reenactments. After the visitor center, we walk the path to the fort. Fort Taylor is located along the coast of the southern edge of Key West. This fort, which predates the Civil War, is a National Historic Monument. Fort Taylor, named for President Zachary Taylor, in 1845 was one of the few forts in Florida that remained under federal control during the Civil War. It served as the headquarters for the Navy's East Gulf Coast Blockading Squadron. In fact, it was used almost another hundred years when it was decommissioned from active duty status in 1947. Today, the fort is a National Historic Landmark and retains the largest collection of Civil War era seacoast cannons in the United States. Once we entered the fort, we walked past canyons and gun ports and walked up to the rooftop of the red bricks of Fort Zachary Taylor. Once we reached the rooftop, the warm tropical breezes of Key West enveloped us 
as the views of the sea seduced our eyes with all its beauty. Considering its age, this fort is in pretty good shape. The foundation of this great fort consists of limestone and granite and it has five foot thick walls. You can go on a ranger led tour or go on a self guided tour like we did. There are interpretive panels around the fort which explains the importance of the Fort Zachary Taylor in the Civil War and Spanish American War. I could have sat there forever but the heat got to me so I needed to go down to get some shade. We walked down the stairs and strolled down the brick borders and spaces of the fort. You can get a sense of the life that the soldiers lived during the Civil and Spanish War here. Troop barracks were built into a gorge with a capacity for 800 men. At either end of the barracks was a large gunpowder magazine, while a sally port was located in the center connected to land by a 1200 foot causeway. Rainwater was collected in an underground cistern along the perimeter of the fort. In its heyday, there were three seaward curtains 490 feet between bastions, each containing 42 cannon guns on three levels. The highlight was the rooftop view and the views from the cannon windows. If you arrive on the third weekend of each month, a local reenactors conduct historic demonstrations here as well. The hallways are the bastions and the gigantic metal canyons which lined the canyon hall was another highlight. This section of the fort retains the largest collection of Civil War era seacoast cannons in the United States. We strolled through the halls from cannon to cannon looking through the windows at the endless Gulf of Mexico. After our visit to the state park, we decided to walk through one of the nature trails to see bird life and native trees, shrubs and wildflowers, which is typical of the subtropical climate in Key West. If you go through these trails, please wear insect repellent. Mosquitoes are pretty fierce here. These trails are a popular place for bird watchers to catch a glimpse of warblers and the white crowned pigeons or a great egret or a flock of ibis. The park is also home to many butterfly species. After a short stroll, we decided to head to the beach to cool off. This Fort Taylor State Park also boasts a beach located at the southern end of the park where you can picnic, swim, snorkel, paddle, and fish. We parked in the second lot to get to the beach. It was full even at 10 a.m., but we managed to find a parking spot and walk to the beach from the parking lot. There is a shady picnic area with tables and charcoal barbecue grills for visitors to use. There's also a small cafe where you can get snacks like hot dogs and drinks. There's a deck there too that you can sit with umbrellas to shield you from the sun and you'll need that. You'll also find outside showers, restrooms, and a small shack on the beach which offers a variety of rental equipment including beach chairs and snorkel gear. This is a large sandy beach but has a lot of pebbles. Water shoes are recommended because of the rocky sea bottom and the hot sand. There are large rock formations which serve as breakwaters for tropical fish. We saw lots of people in this area swimming, snorkeling, and generally just enjoying the water. If you're an angler, listen up. On the west side of the park, there is fishing. I wish we had time to fish as it's one of my favorite activities, but I didn't have any of my equipment. I just had to be satisfied watching others enjoy themselves. Please park in the third parking lot furthest from the entrance. The fishing area is by a rock jetty adjacent to the main shipping ch uh, channel. You can catch grouper, snappers, jacks, tarpon, and other local fish. A fishing license is required. Fort Zachary State Park is a great family time and worth visiting just for the views alone. A visit here would take two or more hours depending on your interest. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.